Thank you, Linda. That was a very uh, generous introduction. Uh, I think in order to achieve greatness, organizations need not only a powerful idea and a great team, they need a deep source of inspiration. As many of you know or might have guessed, Linda is Endeavor's deep source of inspiration. And the organization would not have been able to achieve a fraction of what it has uh, without her help. Because of her inspiration in one-on-one -on -one meetings with entrepreneurs, chief executives, presidents, prime ministers, and even kings, uh, people that Linda has sought to get involved in Endeavor and has sought to get excited about Endeavor, Linda has emerged totally undefeated. It's a... Uh, It's a great honor to introduce uh, this year's uh, 2010 Entrepreneurs of the Year, the founding team of the Gilt Group. Gilt first launched three years ago, almost to this day. At the time, it was a scrappy 10-person startup with a great team, a big heart, and a big vision. It has since evolved into one of the fastest growing internet companies on record, growing faster than Google, Amazon, eBay, Yahoo, or the other great internet giants of the late 1990s. Today, three years after its launch, Gilt employs over 500 people. It's expanded internationally into Japan, and it's approaching half a billion dollars in annual revenue. <laughs> Gilt has evolved during this period. It's evolved from a women's fashion website to a luxury lifestyle platform that also offers insider deals in men's, children's and home goods, and travel deals through its subsidiary Jet Setter, and restaurant and other local services deals through its subsidiary Guilt City, both of which are fantastic websites in their own right. In a very short period of time, Guilt has become an online luxury juggernaut. But what's most impressive about Guilt and what explains much of its financial success is the passion that's developed around its brand. People don't just like Guilt, they love Guilt. And uh, for those uninitiated in guilt, this is no ordinary kind of love. This is a love that's deeply infused with aspiration, with competitiveness, and with desire. It's something really extraordinary, and it's one of the secrets behind guilt success. I think the last thing I'd say briefly about guilt before bringing on the founding team is that its success was the result of uh, the complementary skills and efforts of a very impressive founding team. The Guild founding team is comprised of some of the best people I've ever worked with, and the company would not be where it is today without each and every one of their contributions. Let me briefly introduce the team. To my left, we have Kevin Ryan, uh, co-founder and CEO of Guild. <laughs> Alexis Maybank, founding CEO and president of Premium Services and Products. Alexandra Wilkes-Wilson, co-founder and chief merchandising officer. Mike Brzezak, chief technology officer and co-founder. Fong Nguyen, uh, vice president of research and development and co-founder. And Susan Line, chairman. So let me start with Kevin. Kevin, how did Guilt get started, and when did you know you had a juggernaut on your hands? So uh, I thought of this idea about three and a half years ago exactly, and there were really two influences. One, there was a model in Europe that was somewhat similar, uh, that had a lot of success, and so that was one data point. And the second one was, I was walking by a building on 18th Street one day, and I saw 200 women outside waiting in a miserable day. And I just stopped and said, what are you waiting for? And they said, well, it's a sample sale. And you just could feel the passion in what they were doing. And you realize that it was one of the few areas of the internet that had not been uh, moved from offline to online. So there were two constraints. One was that uh, I asked my wife about it, and she had a very reasonable question. She thought it was a great business model. Uh, but she said, look, you've started five companies in the previous three years. They're all still going. Do you really need a sixth company? And it's a fair question. And so I thought about that night, and I said, you know, this is just an incredible idea. I think it's going to be great. Uh, we need to do that. And so the second constraint was that uh, guilt's a complicated business. And there are a lot of things I really didn't know much about. 
one of them being women's fashion. Uh, another one being warehousing, uh, and we really needed great technology. So really spent the next three months building up an incredible team uh, so that we were able to launch. So uh, probably two months after we launched, we knew it was gonna be very big. Uh, the passion level of the customers was extraordinary. Uh, everything was moving in the right direction. So it's been an exciting experience. So Alexis, you were the founding CEO of Gilt. You had a lot on your shoulders in the early days. What were the biggest challenges? Well, one of the biggest challenges was how are we going to reach customers? How are we going to get them to talk uh, about Gilt? We had a budget of thousands, not millions. And, um, and, and we set out to build the best possible shopping experience we could. And we spent way too much time in New York and New Jersey warehouses trying to find a provider that could put an item in a box within an hour of ordering it. We invested in photography so that our pages looked more like a Vogue than, a, than an eBay. And um, we invited 25,000 of our closest friends use relentless marketing tactics, guerrilla tactics, to eventually get what turned out to be about a million people who are telling their friends about guilt, shaping their day around guilt. But what they never knew was that each of us wore about five hats. I was the CEO and head of customer support. Alexandra was the head of merchandising, but also ran all of our phone systems. Mike, our CTO, was also packing all the boxes going out of the warehouse in his free time. And Fong, our brilliant uh, engineer uh, focusing on infrastructure, was also working the fashion shoots. So that, that made it fun. So uh, truth be told, Alexandra was really the fashion genius behind Gilt. It was her job to sign up top brands from all over the world to work with an as yet unproven startup. It was a difficult task. Alexandra, how did you do it? It was not easy because, for many reasons, but three years ago, most of the brands that we wanted to sell on our site did not sell online uh, at full price. And those that did, did sell online certainly didn't sell at a discount. So we found ourselves having to educate the brands that we wanted to sell. And after we educated them and answered all of their questions about e-commerce in general, then we had to win their trust and make them feel comfortable allowing us to sell their most beautiful prized possessions to our members. So it took a lot of convincing and relying on personal connections, professional connections. A lot of you in the room helped, helped me out. I, I reached out to basically everyone I knew for some introductions and pounding the pavement. We would walk uh, trade shows armed with business cards and press kits and really pursued our passion and knew that this was a good idea, that our members would love it if we could get the best possible merchandise on the site. So we were very proud to get Zach Posen as our first brand. And months later, the, the calls from designers started coming inbound instead of only outbound. So, Mike, as the uh, site began to take off, the technical challenges got bigger and bigger. How did you end up putting together a technological platform to support the explosive growth of Gilt? So from the beginning, we were really obsessive about the end-to-end -end customer experience on Gilt. And that really meant everything from how you felt when you first learned about Gilt to your first experience on the site to fighting with hundreds of thousands of other members to gain a piece of uh, uh, inventory or merchandise or that pair of shoes that you really wanted, uh, to how you felt when that box arrived the next day at your door, beautifully wrapped, uh, and, and how that brought you back to guilt to do it all over again. And at every step of the way, what made it particularly challenging is these are the, these are the best products in the world, and there, there is limited inventory, and the doors open at noon. So every day at noon, everybody was there. Um, the strategy has always been to uh, hire the world's greatest engineers who are passionate about what turned out to be some really technically challenging problems, and, and then to build software that is really great on day one for what Gilt needs when it launches, and gives us an opportunity to improve or rewrite on in month three when the needs have changed or our members are asking for something new. But uh, a lot of work and a lot of fun. So Fong, you were Mike's key partner in crime on the technology front, and of the technology problems that, that he referred to, which were the most difficult? Um, so we have two main problems. Email is one. Uh, we send a lot of emails out uh, in a very short amount of time, and this is not very typical of many of the email providers. Um, early on, uh, we were turned down by uh, many of the email providers because they couldn't handle our traffic. So that provided a lot of uh, unique challenges for us. Um, the second one is the website traffic. Um, at noon every day, we get tons of traffic, and there's a large spike um, right at 12 o'clock. So 
having the infrastructure, having the code, the software, be able to be optimized and, um, and, and having all those bits ready to go so then the shopping experience would be great. So Susan, help us understand the evolution of Guild. It started uh, with a very specific value proposition. It was flash sales of women's apparel, very high-end apparel. Um, what has it evolved into today? So you really expressed it perfectly. You know, uh, we've really evolved from a fashion brand to, uh, to a lifestyle brand. And uh, we knew our customers were interested in a lot more. They had passions around more than just great clothes. And so over the last 18 months, we've launched a number of new categories to really serve them throughout their lives. Uh, we launched Guilt Man, we launched Kids and Baby, we launched Guilt Home, uh, we launched uh, Jet Setter for vacation travel, and most recently we added uh, local services and experiences uh, with Guilt City. The, uh, the challenge with all of that expansion has been making sure we keep the Guilt experience, the thing that, that actually brought people to the site and got them excited from the beginning, that we keep true to that. So um, I think we've done it. Uh, it. We are very focused, even though we launch 20 sales a day, uh, we make sure each of them is tightly curated, highly edited, so it's easy to scan them and see if there's anything in there you might want. Um, it's new every day. We still make sure we change out the store each and every day, and that uh, drives a lot of repeat visits. Um, it's still highly competitive. Uh, people really fight for uh, great stuff every day, and, uh, and that gaming element, I think, is a big piece of the engagement. And it is, um, it's, it remains fast and fun. So we've made sure to keep the experience what it began with. So Kevin, where is Guilt going next? So, you know, normally when you start a company, uh, about two years in, you realize that actually it's a, it's a lot harder than you thought. And because a number of things have gone wrong on many levels, and you have to try and fight through those. And here, what's been unusual is the, the opportunity is bigger than I thought it was. You know, it hadn't even occurred to me that we could sell travel, which opened up a $100 billion category. Uh, and it turns out that there's just a much bigger opportunity out there in the e-commerce space than I ever thought. So I think that this will be a broad e-commerce website selling full price and discount merchandise in many categories in many countries. It's an opportunity that will be many billions of dollars. So a lot of uh, Endeavor entrepreneurs have traveled from all over the world to be here tonight. Is there any advice that you guys would give them on the basis of your experience at Guilt? To follow your passion, where you can be the end consumer, put yourself uh, in the end consumer's footsteps, you'll always make the best decisions and, and be incredibly uh, excited about what you're doing. And hire great people. Great, well please join me in congratulating the uh, Guild founding team.